YMCA has this year helped more than 35,000 people across North Staffordshire and at Christmas time their work becomes even more important. So here at Stoke City we thought best to help spread some of that festive cheer. YMCA has been around 175 years, so we just keep growing, don't we, and keep going. We've got about 200 units of accommodation across the city. We've expanded, we're buying terraces for young workers. We've got 62% of the accommodated kids working. Because actually what the young people want, they want a job and they want some safe accommodation so they can afford to go Stoke on Saturday, don't they? And then we do lots of community-based work. So today in there we've got people from our community projects up in Chelleith and Fergays and Little Chell. Football players, I think, have got to remain heroes to their young people because they are. I've got a young woman in there who wants to see the Stoke play. She works for me. She lived here. She's just had a baby who is sitting in there with his Stoke gear on. He's got his little Stoke top on. She wants it signing by the players and she's saying, Danny, are they here there? Are they here there? That's what Stoke City means, that I've got generations of people who love Stoke City. They've helped me out quite a lot. Obviously they've helped me out in that with me depression and that what I came here for. I didn't even like expect for Eric Peters to come down like obviously he's the main man for me. Obviously when I when I used to do like security and that at Stoke for AMS security, obviously he was the only one that all of us were talking about before we even like started getting on the doors or the gates or obviously all the all the people in that that were coming in and that they were saying like have you seen him yeah I was like yeah, yeah he's he's coming on and that. I it first came round when I was fifteen and moved in, I've come from a rough estate, in trouble for many years and didn't really find my way here and then I'm back. Yeah. I volunteer day in day out in the kitchens, making the cakes, preparing food. I, I did take part in the football, but I dropped out due to mental health and started focusing on myself and where I won't go in my future. But that is there. I know I can go back when I'm ready and fit and healthy again, so yeah. It's a positive place in a way, it depends how you use it. We've spoke to a lot of people and um, we've also had a, a pool a pool game which I and How Eric Pe well me and Eric Peters lost to me and Cookie Martina yeah which I'm not happy with <laughs> <laughs> representing the club um, is always an honour uh, as a Stoke fan as well um, and I think that especially alongside the men as well it's been really important for us to join up together as one club it's it's nice to come somewhere where you know sometimes people aren't as fortunate as we are you know we we you know. We were happy to be here and, and when we were invited we, we jumped at the chance didn't we yeah. so it's something that we would really like to you know to, to be a part of especially in in this city in particular uh, stoke city is massive um, it's an area that isn't one of the most affluent areas in the world and um, i think the football club really brings everybody together it's lovely to be here uh, i think every every single club has to do this uh, because Everyone knows Christmas and New Year's coming and give you such a warm feeling. Uh, like we're blessed to do this for, for so many people. But it's just like the reaction that you get from, from the people is, is, is unbelievable. It's really nice, you know, to make people happy, of course. Uh, that is part of the, our uh, job, of course. And um, if we can do that, it's uh, really happy, of course, for, uh, for everybody. You go to do things like this, it does put a perspective on everything. So. Um, You've got to be extremely grateful for, for what you have, definitely. Um, but, you know, this place is doing wonders in, within the community and it's fantastic to see so so many smiling faces and great people. It uh, does put a smile on your face in that way when you walk in and everyone being so happy and, and um, enjoying Christmas. So from all at Stoke City, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hmm.